McGee. This isn't a... Why would I... Excuse me, pardon me. Hey, out of my way. This is my special piece. Cook! Dinner rush is here. <laughs> These are to die for. The, the chairman? I didn't know he was invited. Yeah, I, I, I think I left the wood stove on. Fadu! Oh, sorry. Looks like someone else is a fan of the cookie frittuccino with extra whipped screams. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, sir, take this one. It's extra cookies on the house. Thanks. Man, being chairman has some perks, huh? I don't think we've officially met. I'm Jeff, with a J. You coming to the big party tonight at the Haughty Haunts? Everyone who's anyone will be there. The best of the best. An exclusive party and you're inviting me? I mean, uh, yeah. Of course you would, obviously. I'm the chairman now. I will be there. Terrific. See you tonight. Yeah. Yes, you made it. Okay, so, dance floor there, never-ending buffet there, and that is also the buffet over there. You know Cleopatra, a Lincoln, Brian. Hey. Oh, and there's Jinx. Jinx! Oh, we've met, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that whole hunting your friend thing. <laughs> you weren't the chairman then. Excuse me, I gotta do the rounds. Blah, host duties, am I right? Hank Richards, dude, I didn't know. Uh, dude, you are at Jeff's party. My party? Jeff is my afterlife partner. I know, <laughs> I get your confusion, but Jeff spells it with a J, while I spell it G E. I know how you spell it! How did I not know you two were together? No idea. You're at our anniversary party. Yeah, I do not know how I missed that. Jeff, Jeff, oh, this blowout was the best. But you're at my party? Keep up, pal. Yeah, but I didn't know that. When Jeff, that Jeff, invited me, well, this will shock you. I haven't always been very popular, and it felt nice to be one of the best of the best. I mean, he's so awesome, I'm spending the rest of my afterlife with him. Now, come on, let's party. Jeff may forgive you, but you're not off the hook with me, pal. If you ever hurt my angelic Jeff again, you'll answer to me. Got it, yes, sir. Now let's have a good time. They do a terrifying dance, they will astound you. I'm classically trained. Oh. A spookalicious whore. Detection. Oh, look, we're magic. This house is haunted. Listen up, ghosts and ghouls. It's time for our Halloween scare off. <laughs> All right, let's keep this spooky and kooky. <laughs> oh, my guys, you're making me blush. A dead tie, and not just because they're both ghosts. Tiebreaker goes to whoever scares, hmm, let's see, that human the most. <laughs> Jeff wins! Yes! Completely impartial judge here. Ready? I'm not going anywhere without you. Ah! Number one defender on my junior high basketball team. Still got it, baby. Jeff! Ghosts? Real? Live? Um, dead. Ghosts? I'll free you. Have you seen Scratch? Last time I saw him, he was heading outside. Well, don't worry about us. We're fine. We really need to talk about how obsessed you are with Scratch. Oh. Hey, Ollie, quick thing. If you ever do anything to hurt my sweet, sweet Jeff again, I will end you. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Okay, cool. See you around. Sorry. Get a boom and sweep, sweep. Get the dust in a heap, heap. Our Living World episode, where one lucky audience member will take home some exotic human prizes. Ooh. Wow, that lunchbox Libby crafted looks legit. And our lucky audience contestant is... <laughs> All right, Jinx, you get three guesses at our big prize word. Your first clue is a word that means... Huh, um... Scrape? Seven letters, Jinx. Oh, a uh, scrawl. Scrawl is only six, looking for seven, but who's counting? Not you, apparently. Uh, oh, I know what you're trying to get me to say. <laughs> hey. Okay, three, two, one. Hey. Oh. I didn't 
didn't say my name! You betrayed me! Oh, no, I'm so sorry! Scratch, scratch, scratch! More like a soft rock personality. A soft rock personality? Are you kidding me? I'm taking this for emotional damages! You really messed up, Scratch. You're a terrible chairman. Oh, no, no, no. Don't listen to him, Scratch. He's just cranky because your irresponsible behavior has had terrible consequences. But you can prove you're a great chairman by telling us how you're going to stop Jinx. Thank you, Jeff with a G. My plan is we're... Yes. Ah, uh, we're going <clears> to... <throat> no, that's terrible. Throw it to the group. We're thrown into the group because a great leader, which I am, delegates. Who's got a brilliant idea? Oh! Oh, hey, guys! Glad you're back! We didn't keep your soulless bodies in this chest because they were creeping us out or anything. Oh, so creepy. One mistake I made today. Life is a big joke. Without Molly's hopeful spirit. Especially with an army of joy-fueled sob goblins. Daryl, where are you going? Uh, somewhere undisclosed. Don't worry about it. This is hopeless. Ghosts aren't what you think. Personally, I myself don't care for quite a few, but happen. Yes, we do. It's your fault. Jury, especially you. I mean, it hurts, but I get it. Way to get the jinx. What are we going to do? At least we get our best shot, right? Because the greatest chairman ever will never get it ever. <laughs> world may be in shambles. I've seen it in the mirror a thousand times. They're overeating! Get ready. Your favorite chairman has got one heck of an idea. Boy! Best bud who always comes through in the end. Oh, I think Scratch is right! It's not enough! Come on, guys! Woo! Yeah, we did it! Woo! Best chairman half. Look at it. Cutie bits. Cutie bit. You will pay for what you've done! And what would that be? I was wrong, Scratch. You might actually be a good chairman after all. Hear, hear! <laughs> to the greatest chairman there ever was. Wow! Yeah! I am not the greatest chairman ever. I'm lazy, incompetent, I don't even... This whole mess was my fault! 